Hi, I'm Michelle Pettit and I am running for the Board of Education. I would like to remain as a, a, a board member for the next four years so that I can continue working on the projects that we started, such as Destination Loveland, the Loveland Drug Force Task, and hiring, most importantly, hiring the new superintendent. Um, I, I would appreciate your vote so that I can continue to do this. Thank you. So I'm Ned Portoon. I'm a Loveland resident uh, and parent. Professionally, I'm the VP of Information Systems and Technology. <coughs> Excuse me at Coljet LLC, a global manufacturing company here in Loveland. Um, my background includes engineering, communications, project management, and data analysis. It does not include public speaking. Personally, I am the son of two public school teachers. My father and mother uh, were both high school teachers as well as professors at the University of Cincinnati. Lisa and I moved to Loveland 19 years ago because we knew Loveland would be a great place to raise a family. And we've raised three children, Grant in the class of 2013, Aaron in the class of 2017, and Jack, who is a sophomore today in the class of 2020. From athletics to marching band, show choir to robotics, uh, gifted programs to special needs, we've kind of lived a little bit of all of it. Um, I'm not a walking encyclopedia on school policy or state educational law yet. Um, I will be engaged and involved as a board member. Um, I am data-driven, and I like making decisions based on clear and well-researched analysis. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, my experience is that Loveland is a very good school district, but can still be better. I believe every student, whether headed to an elite university or a skilled trade, deserves a culture of high expectations and supports to reach their full potential. And that's why I'm running for the board with my background. I believe I bring a unique perspective to the board. And thank you. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Eileen Washburn, and I've served and advocated for educational needs of children since 2004 in public schools as a teacher. I've been a resident of Loveland since 2005, and I currently have two children attending the Loveland School District. Logan is in sixth grade and Hannah's in first grade. So we're going through it all right now. The number one question friends and community members have asked me is why I'm running for school board. So I'm running for school board to represent all of the parents with school aged children. I'm running for school board to represent the taxpayers and I'm running for school board to represent all of the people who haven't been in a classroom in a while. As an educator, parent, and resident, I believe I can be the voice of the people. I'm not a politician, but I am concerned about the educational achievement of students in the district and want to ensure our children get the best education possible so we can prepare them for the future. I want to be part of a positive change in Loveland, and I believe now is the time for that change. I'm running for Loveland School Board because I believe that we have a good school district currently, but Loveland students, parents, faculty, and community members deserve an excellent district. I bring the experience, knowledge, and commitment necessary to help lead our district in the right direction. My efforts as a board member would center on serving all of the children in the community. We need to focus on creating an environment where every child is challenged and has the tools and opportunities to succeed. I believe I can help foster that. Another goal that I have is to help increase community awareness and involvement within the school district. So I'm here tonight to humbly ask for your support to be part of the district <coughs> leadership team and helping to prepare our students for tomorrow, starting today. Thank you. Thank you for those introductions. And I'm gonna ask the first question now and we will start with you, Mr. Pertoon. And, um, that, that would be, what is the most important responsibility of a school board, in your opinion? Thank you for the question. Um, this, in my opinion, the most important thing or responsibility for a school board is really for setting the vision and creating the plan and the measurable goals um, for the district moving forward, um, both short term and long term. Um, Really, the school board is, is the body that drives continuity uh, of the plan. Um, studies have shown anymore that superintendents change every four to five years. 
if we are constantly waiting for the superintendent to drive a plan, to create a plan, um, we find ourselves in periods of uncertainty every four or five years. Um, that really isn't where you can be. So it's, it's the responsibility of the board to set those priorities, to set the measurable goals, and really drive the plan. The superintendent um, should be the lobbyist for the school district, the cheerleader for the school district, the person out and engaging staff, energizing staff, engaging the community. Um, we certainly need that in driving the plan. But I believe the responsibility of the school board is really to manage, create, and put measurable goals on the path uh, forward for the district. Thank you. Mrs. I believe the most important responsibility for the school board is to always have the students' best interests at the forefront of every decision that's made. I think that it does need to be data-driven. A lot of factors need to be taken into consideration, and I think that the school board also has a responsibility to the people and the community to do what's best for the district um, when it comes to the kids. and property value and things like that. So I think it's just important for the school board to be available to everybody and to be the voice of the people. Thank you. Ms. Um, one of the first things that I learned becoming a board member was that our job is to hire the superintendent and the treasurer and to um, make sure that our we are holding the treasurer and the district um, financially accountable. Um, with that, it, it's it's a very difficult process when you, when you are changing the um, uh, superintendents over every few years. It, it it it's a never going process trying to find that perfect fit for Loveland Schools to um, that will lead us forward into our our visions and, and our vision setting forward when we work with the superintendent, making that vision <clears throat> come set the goals and, and come forward. Um, so I, I really dislike public speaking, so I'm sorry I'm stumbling here a little bit. But it, it is, again, our, our most important thing is to hire the perfect superintendent and the perfect treasurer and just making sure that we use every dollar wisely and um, complete every plan that we set forth in, in making the, the goals for all of our children. Thank you. Uh, the next question is going to be a combination of a question that was submitted and, and uh, one that I actually came, came with. And you covered a lot of it in your introductions, so it can be a short answer if you would like. But it is, what is your applicable experience in the field of education, more specifically in a public school system? And then I would also add, then how has that experience in, in a public school setting influenced your desire to become a board member. And I think that it has been covered some in your introductions, but um, it, it was submitted and, and I want to give you a chance to uh, talk about that a little bit more and I'll start with you, Mrs. Washburn. Well, my experience in education, as I said in my introduction, is that I have been a public school teacher since 2014. And through that, I have learned a lot about what students need every day and I know that those needs are constantly changing so I think that I could be somebody on the board who can speak about what it's like to be in the classroom what the students need what support the teachers need what training would be beneficial to the teachers and overall what would help the district in that way so being an education obviously has influenced my decision to run for school board and my desire to be part of the school board because I want to be part of a positive change and I want to be a voice and somebody who can influence others and can help that change move forward. Thank you, Ms. Pettit. <coughs> well, my qualifications for the school board are the kind that can't be bought or studied for. It's, it's they're the kind that um, I have experienced through life. I am a parent of two Loveland graduates, um, an 07 graduate and a 2016 graduate, and I am blessed to have this beautiful grandchild of mine um, who will be starting here in, in the Loveland Tiger family. Um, in addition to just being a parent, knowing the, the, the 
the hard work that goes into raising children and, and um, keeping your house here in Loveland and working multiple jobs as I did. I worked in the public schools for 16 years here in Loveland and Loveland City Schools. Um, I did various jobs starting with cleaning the, the rooms to driving a bus to handing out detentions, um, being the parking guru. So I got a lot of contact with the students and with the parents and it was my passion to be able to help the children and, and give them the best that we have. And um, I had decided to go ahead and